The spike in measles cases might have you wondering, should you get a measles booster even if you got vaccinated as a kid? King 5's Christine Pay asked about that in this week's Health Link. The short answer is yes. It will not hurt to at least ask your doctor about getting a measles, mumps, and rubella booster. An expert in infectious diseases told me he's already seeing more adult patients asking about this. Measles outbreaks in the U.S., including a confirmed case in Washington, has medical circles underlining the importance of measles, mumps, and rubella vaccination among children. But what about adults who got the vaccine decades ago? CDC guidelines say adults who have documentation of MMR vaccination as children should have sufficient immunity. And adults who were born before 1957, regardless of vaccination, are presumed to have natural immunity because of the prevalence of measles at the time. But for people born after 57 or people who just aren't sure about their immunity or maybe only received one dose of the vaccine, that's when we need to start thinking about do they need a booster? Dr. Seth Cohen is the medical director of infection prevention at the UW Medical Center. He says he is noticing more adult patients asking about getting a measles booster. I would say my colleagues in pediatrics often think about measles much more frequently, but unfortunately, even in adult medicine, now we have to be thinking about it as well. And so I think there is a more uh, general awareness that people may not be immune or there may need to be additional boosters. Dr. Cohen emphasizes the measles vaccine is highly effective, but with an increase in cases, he says it doesn't hurt to undergo a titer, which is checking antibody levels from a blood test. And if you have travel plans this spring break, you know, there's still a lot of measles out there internationally. And so if you're traveling, it's a great idea to make sure that you're, you know, to go talk to your doctor and make sure that you have enough antibodies in your body to protect you against measles should you come across it. However, Cohen says pregnant women or those with compromised immune systems should consult with their doctor before pursuing a measles booster. The ultimate concern, doctors say, is how contagious the measles virus is. It is a very smart virus. And at this point, you know, I am much more concerned or scared about measles than I am about COVID, for example, and, and COVID is still very serious in our community. In the year 2000, measles was declared to have elimination status in the U.S., meaning there was no continuous spread of the disease in a span of a year, a status that has in recent years been at risk. Dr. Cohen emphasizes the MMR vaccine has no association with autism and the original paper suggesting that has fully been debunked. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei reporting.